I'm Dr. Jeffrey Saltz. I've done about 3,000 or so um, LENAP cases and probably a little over 1,000 LAPIP cases. So currently, too many implants are being placed, and people don't like to hear that because it's a good revenue stream. But the reality is, with so many implants being placed, we know that the vast majority will fail over time. And we need some way to treat these failing implants. So patients who are receiving implants need to have their perinatrium treated first with an app before anything else goes on. They should not have implants placed until the perinatrium is stable and healthy. And that does not mean initial therapy. That means definitive modalities such as surgery and or laser surgery. Well, there are really three treatments available for, for treating failing dental implants. Um, one is to remove the implant, um, which is not the most favorable. Uh, the other would be to go ahead and uh, take off the restoration, uh, lift the tissue up, and do conventional guided bone regeneration. And the problem is that oftentimes you lose tissue. And in doing so, the outcome isn't very good because patients are typically very unhappy. Um, so the best modality would be to use the lipid procedure where all the tissues remain intact and we're able to eradicate the infection and potentially regrow a lot of bone. So I had a young woman come in who had two implants placed in the uh, maxillary anterior, the two front teeth. Um, both implants had tremendous amount of bone loss and there was a lot of pus coming out, which I know sounds gross, but purulence does occur whenever there's an infection. The tissue was purple in color, and whenever she lifted up her lip, pus would extrude out of these areas. She thought she was gonna have to lose these implants because they were already treated twice by another surgeon with conventional surgery, where the tissue was reflected and she lost some tissue already. So I tried to reassure her that we were going to maintain the tissue as much as possible, and we went and we treated it with lip pip, and we were able to regenerate pretty much all the bone that she had lost. So she was very happy about, she was you know, certainly happy about a week later, but a year later when we were able to check the radiographs, the x-rays to compare, we basically got all the bone back and she was very pleased. Using LePIP, the outcome is much better because there is no soft tissue loss, which is the biggest issue treating perinatrium in any traditional way. So by using LePIP, we're able to maintain the soft tissue height, which maintains the aesthetics, and hence the patient outcome is much better.